our today's <clears throat> topic is application technology, nozzles, and their influence on the efficacy of our products. Let's come to our topic, nozzles. We have more than 1,000 different nozzles available on the market. And it's horrible for you as customer to select the right nozzle for your application. It's up to us. That's the reason why Bayer uh, employed some people like me, which have the experience from more than 30 years in, in nozzles and spraying in the field. I conduct field trials and studies and whatever to give you a clear recommendation what to use. Now have a look at our <clears throat> slides here. You can see Holocon nozzle, uh, standard flat fan nozzle in a check air injection flat fan nozzle. What's the difference? With the Holocon nozzle, you have a fine dropple spectra and a distribution which is more rectangular. And this is also the reason why you'll see these stripes with overdosing and stripes with underdosing in the field. The middle one, the standard flat fan nozzle, is a triangular distribution pattern is given by overlapping. You get a very even distribution in the area. The disadvantage of the standard nozzle is you have a lot of fine droplets and you can see some areas where you have strips in. This is caused by a little bit of side wind. These fine droplets will be taken away by wind and settle down then. On the right hand side will be our uh, previous or our recommendation, the air injection nozzle. You have also this triangular distribution. You have less fine droplets, more coarser droplet spectra, and you have a very even distribution on your target area. Let's have a look to the physical lifetime of droplets. Normally, uh, our good agricultural practice said uh, don't spray when the temperature is above 20, oops, 24 degrees. Let's have a look to the slide here. We have a droplet size from 100 micron at 20, 13, 40 degrees and different air humidities. At the air humid humidity of 70%, we have a lifetime around about 20 seconds from these droplets. When we increase the temperature, this cough is falling only a little bit down. There's no big influence to the <clears throat> lifetime from droplets. But when we decrease the air humidity, the droplet size will be halved and more than halved. And this is the reason why we recommend don't spray if the air humidity is below 60%. Let's go ahead with the horizontal drift, uh, uh, horizontal uh, offset of, of droplets. One point is also the boom height above the target. Normally, your boom height should be around about 50 centimeters over the target. Nozzle distance 50 centimeter boom is the same to your target size. If you increase to 70 centimeter, <clears throat> you have 1.6 times more drift and optimal height. There was no wind, absolutely no wind. On the right side is a standard fine droplet nozzle. On the left-hand side is air injector nozzle. And you can see on the right-hand side, you have a cloud of fine droplets. We are, they are standing in, in the air. There is no, no movement. They move a little bit to the right. And a lot of them of them will also evaporate. They are lost because we didn't get the target with these droplets. Okay, and here we have a general recommendation, recommendation for water volumes. You have the water volume of the reactor for leaf herbicides, for leaf active herbicides. You can see 100 to 200 liters. It's okay, it's enough. With a medium to very coarse droplet spectra, with soil herbicides, we increase from 200 up to 250 liters per hectare, fungicides similar, fungicides potato, a little bit higher, 250 to 300 liters, because you have a very huge canopy you want to cover. Insecticides independent if they are contact or systemic, 200 to 250 liters, gross regulators, the same 200 to 250. For good penetration on large target sizes like potatoes, where you have a huge uh, <clears throat> target you have to penetrate. Use higher amounts of waters, cause our droplet spectra to get a penetration into the crop. For smaller or easy accessible targets, you can reduce the amount of water and also your droplet size to medium to cause a very coarse to stick the droplets on the target. If you have high temperatures and low humidity, 
you can increase your temp uh, your your water volume per hectare and at low temperatures and high humidities or even you have to you want the plants you can reduce it more to 100 liters ladies and gentlemen thanks a lot for your interest think about we are responsible not only for the efficacy of our products we are also responsible for protecting ourselves protecting the society and protecting the environment therefore our recommendation use compact injector nozzles leave the product on a target area and not other way for you wish you all the best a good season good yields for the next coming year and last but not least good prices for your products